Alright guys, welcome back. Now in this tutorial I'm going to teach you more about the operators and about conversion of one type of data to another. I mean, a, a bit of conversion, not much. And a bit about, about operators that have been used inside Java. So let's just create a new class. Uh, let me select language here. Java. And let me just create a new class here, like uh, public Sorry, class uh, Dave, and what you're gonna do here is you have a main method public static white main, and we should close it here. And inside the main method, we have uh, we'll okay, let's decide that this program is gonna add two numbers, so we need two integer variables with the input value one and another int number value two and a third variable for result so int result now what we're going to do is we're going to take the values from value two and value one and we're going to add them and we're going to put the addition inside the result variable so this is going to happen like result equals value one plus value two. Now, but but before we do this, we need to initialize the variables value one and value two by uh, data. So what we do is we do value one equals uh, this in in ten. Okay, right, ten, right value 2 equals let's put 40 so the answer expected in the result variable should be 50 so now we need to print out the value of result so we do a system dot out dot print line result so we are printing out the result okay no sorry sorry this is created like this result it looks a bit neat all right this is it now after this what we need to do is that we need to so save it so as I said the class name should be same as the file name so dave.java and now it's being saved and now we need to open the terminal and java dave.java and then I need to run it dave and the result is 50. Yes, it works. Now, this program is a bit dumb because the computer doesn't know. I mean, every time you run this program, the result is 50. It is just 50. So, the problem here is that... The, the main problem here is that the program... I mean, that user has no control over the values that are being inputted inside the addition so every time you need to make a new addition you need to change this uh, variable and and then uh, you you know, save it and then again compile it and then you run it so now this is a bit odd because because uh, usually people don't like to recompile the programs because if you see the calculator program you need in order to add two numbers you don't need to go into the source code of that calculator and then you don't need to change all this all this uh, things and then do it and you don't need to change this addition sign to minus and you don't need to do anything like this because the calculator takes the input it then decides what to do and then it gives you the output so in this in this program what we are going to do we're not going to do the decision part yet we are going to convert the input and we're going to assign the input to the uh, resulting variables like uh, now the only way of input that we have right now is the string args the command line arguments that are being passed up along with the program execution command so in order to use them as you know it uh, and I know you guys know the answer it's args 0 and args 1 no. All right, but 
wait, hold on a second. This isn't gonna work because arg arg zero is string, and value one is int. So obviously, this is not gonna work because the you can't assign a string data type to integer. So you need to convert this string into an integer. How you do it? Don't worry. Java has an inbuilt command to do it, and it can pass a string into an integer. Passing is simply converting string into an integer. So it's going to do it like this. Integer, since we have an integer, we type integer dot parse int, and then this, and then in the value to same integer parse int this and what, he, what he's going to do is he's going to convert the string inside his args one and he's going to convert that into an integer and he's going to assign the resulting integer to value two and really respectively so yeah this is going to work now and let's just test it so save it open the terminal java compile it and now we need to pass oh sorry now we need to pass two numbers, so 10 and 20, 30, yes, uh, again, uh, let's pass something different, uh, 100, 500, 600, whoa, that's, that's correct, isn't it, so, yeah, so now we know that this works, another thing which is important is operators, so, if you wanna not do the result and if you wanna increase the result by one so that the okay let's create a program which does wrong calculations so w w what we're gonna do here is that in order to do a wrong calculation we are gonna increment the result after every calculation so what we're gonna do is you're gonna result equals result plus one plus okay let's increment it by value one so if you save this and go and recompile oh, sorry my bad then java dave whoa 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 10 plus 20 is not 40 it's 10 plus 20 is 30 this is a wrong calculation so this the program works so what, what what we are doing here is we are doing result equals result plus value one. In order to do the in in order not to do this long, what we can do is you can, we can do result plus equals value one. This is same as result equals result plus value one. So now you now you, you may say that you need to do result equals result minus value one. So you just replace plus with minus. You might say you want to do result equals result multiplied by value one. Just replace minus with multiplication symbol. And this is really easy. Now, if you want to do result equals result plus one and not value one, you can always do it like this. But programmers were real lazy, so what they did is they did result plus plus, and this is result equals result plus one. Now, plus plus has a long story here. Result plus plus means that you are using the result, and then you are incrementing it. That's result plus plus. Now, you can have uh, result uh, uh, like this plus plus result as well. That means you're incrementing it and then putting it. Uh, let's do a, sis, a small experiment here. Let me show you what result plus plus does. And if you if you're using it in one statement, if you're using result plus plus or plus plus result as one statement, it doesn't make any difference. But if you're using it inside another statement, then it does make a difference. For instance, mm, let me just show you a quick demonstration of this uh, 10 plus 20 is 30 and then we're adding plus 1 here so result plus plus adds plus 1 to it so this works but uh, as I said if you're using result plus plus inside a statement uh, let's test it the answer is still 30 despite of doing plus plus the answer is still 30 
Now, this is probably because the plus plus is being added. I mean, this is because but I'm just joking with you guys. The result plus plus means you're using the result value inside the statement first, and then you are adding it. So if you, if you just copy this and just write result one and two, and then put it here, the first answer is 30, but the second answer is 31. This part of not, ha if not having any plus plus after this, we still have 30. This is because the result, the value, the current value in result is being used here first, and then it's being incremented, and then it's being used here again, and then it's being incremented again. So that's the difference. If we get rid of this statement, and if we do plus plus result here, you will get answer 31. So I think now you have clear thoughts about this, okay, that plus plus result will increment it and then replace it, and result plus plus will replace it and then increment it. That's the main difference between result plus plus and plus plus result. So, yeah, guys. So I think, yeah, uh, so I think this is the end of this tutorial. In my next tutorial, we're going to go a bit more about decision making and how to make decisions and stuff in Java, which is not hard at all. And that is a basic foundation of any program because in any program you need to make certain decisions and stuff. So, till then, guys, see ya, bye bye, and have a nice day.